Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. I'm your tutor from Star Academy Online in collaboration with Animoni Review Channel. Before starting off with anything, I would like to ask you to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel which is the Animoni Review Channel. Now moving on to the first question of the day. In a throw of coin, find the probability of getting ahead. Now we are talking about the probability kind of questions. In these kind of questions, we have to find two things. That is, first one is sample space and the second one is E which is equal to event. Now sample space means all the values that you have in the given question. Whereas event means what does the question want from you. Now for example, in this case, the coin has two sides. So the sample space is going to be two. Whereas the question asks you if you can have a head. Now there is just one head in one coin. So that means the event value would be 1. So moving on further, we would see that the formula says that probability is equal to E over S. We are going to substitute the values as E was 1, 1 is given over there and S, the sample space was 2. So the value is 1 by 2. Now as it cannot be simplified further, our solution to this answer is going to be 1 by 2. Moving on to another question for your practice, an unbiased dice is tossed. Find the probability of getting a multiple of 3. Now, if you know a dice has 6 sides, right? So the sample space in this case would be 6. Whereas the question asks you about getting a multiple of 3. Multiple of 3 means something that can be divided by 3. So we have two numbers which can be divided by 3, 3 and 6. So our sample space or sample value is going to be 6 whereas our event value is going to be 2. Now using the formula P is equal to E over S, we are going to substitute the values 2 divided by 6. As it can be further simplified, we will simplify it and you get the answer as 1 by 3. Now here we have another question which says 3 unbiased coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting at least 2 heads? Now try it yourself, try out how do you think you will be able to solve the question and for your convenience, I'm giving you the solution too. Now, another type of questions that we usually deal are the sequence or the series kind of questions. Now here, for the first one, find the wrong number in the sequence. You can see that there is a sequence of numbers and it is increasing in its order. So 8, 13, 21 is increasing order which means that something is being added. What is being added? 5, 8, 11, 14, 17 and 20. You must be wondering how do we know that these numbers are being added to the above given numbers. Well, you get these numbers by adding 3. Yes, there is a sequence or there is a pattern in them. So if you add 3 to 5, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Then if you add 3 to 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 3 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 17, 17 plus 3 is 20. Now we have this set of numbers. Now we will add them to the given question. That means 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, then 13 plus 8 is equal to 21, then 21 plus 11 is equal to 32 and 32 plus, yes, here lies the main thing, 32 plus 14 is not equal to 47, whereas it is equal to 46. So here we can identify the wrong number which is 47. Moving on to another question. Find the wrong number in the sequence. Now here the numbers given in the sequence are in the decreasing order. So we can definitely think about subtracting something. Now if you go on subtracting 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 from the successive numbers, you will get these answers. But how do you get this pattern? Just try 52 minus 51, the answer is 1. Then 51 uh, minus 48 is equal to 3. Then 48 minus 43 is definitely equal to 5. So when you get 1, 3, 5, you understand that there is a series or pattern of odd numbers. So in this way, you will understand that 34 is the wrong one. When you are subtracting 43, uh, uh, something from 43, you will get a different number. What is that different number? Yes, 34 should be replaced by 36. So after 43, it should be 36 and not 34. Now try it yourself, which number will come next? 210, 195, 175, 150, 120, dash. Now what do you think, which number is going to fill in that space? Here are the given options and here is the solution to it. But first try it yourself and later you can check the solution. 
Now subtracting 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, you will get the answers. Yes, yet again we have another pattern here. The pattern shows that the numbers are increasing by a value of 5. So when you are subtracting 35 from 120, you get the answer as 85. Thank you everyone for viewing our video. Please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel, Animoni Review channel. You can also find us on Facebook through Star Academy Online.